My goal with this video is to demonstrate how I use the program manuscript to divide books of the Bible by the voices I hear within them. We are here with nothing in manuscript. I'm simply going to select empty fiction. I see the menus did not save, so just save this wherever you want and as whatever you want. The, this area is not important unless you intend to publish something. We're not worried about writing a story, which is what this is designed for, so we don't have to worry about that. You might enjoy filling out this character area as you go through the New Testament, as I have. There are quite a number of characters that it's, it's interesting to bring their information in here and see how they operate. Uh, this is about plots, and as you deconstruct the New Testament, and possibly the Old Testament, as I hope to do moving forward, uh, there are important plots that a person may want to record in their own manuscript of what happened. There's also a place here where you can uh, describe the different places to help fill out the scene in your own mind. But again, I, I am not doing my project in, except for my own, so that I know what was in that original Torah and what I believe is, is the original story of Yeshua versus the one that was added to by Paul and then later by another set of redactors. This, under editor, is the important part. And right now we have nothing. But we're going to create a folder here. And we're going to change its name to Matthew. Oh no, it appears the bottom of my screen is cut off. Down on the bottom left, you will see the folder and the plus sign and a minus sign. These allow you to add folders or add and delete files. And because we were on Matthew, it has now created a new text document under Matthew. So we can rename this to Original Source because we're not going to touch this, but we may want to reference it later. So now we're going to create another text document that's going to put it under Matthew again, because you can't create a text document within a text document. And we're going to rename this Modified. And over here, we are going to paste in to both of these a copy of the first six chapters of Matthew. Bible Hub allows me to, to easily bring over six chapters at a time, but beyond that, it starts to have problems with the size of the paste buffer. So I just always start with, with uh, six chapters and then take and grab another six chapters. So if we come up here, we can split this vertically. I am new to this uh, video editing software. Uh, I may make another copy of this sometime in the future so that you can see all the way to the right edge. But as you can see, the right-hand portion of the screen is not visible, just like the bottom is not visible. And now we have two copies of the original source here, but that's not what we really like. What we may want to have later is one copy of the original source or some other thing on one side and the copy we're working with on the other side. So if we're within either of these text documents and we click on a document or folder, that document or folder will be presented in the screen that is active. What I'm going to propose that we do is we simply go through and I use this arrow marker for where I want to cut things. So we're just going to go through and cut this at every place where there is a header here up until here. I think that everything had actually come from the last redactor. But now we get into John the Baptist. And I'm going to mark this as Paul, because I think that everything about John the Baptist came from Paul. So I'm going to now put this in my base number, because we're going to see much more of Paul. Uh, I think that this is Paul. I think this is actually the last redactor, this temptation of Jesus. But 
now all of these appear to be Paul until we get to the Sermon on the Mount. And at this point, we are into Yeshua proper. And, oops, see, I got the wrong mark in there. So, there are some things in here that I think come from Paul. But I think you get the point about, about how to put in these marks and as you go through. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to Ergonauts. And we are going to split, and it's going to ask us for that mark that we were putting in there. I see once again that the menus and the uh, input box did not appear, but I think you can understand what I did there in that I put the dash and the greater than symbol into the box. And that is what uh, cut the, uh, that modified file into 13 different files. And what I'm going to do is we can see this says the genealogy of Jesus Christ at the time, because that was our header. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to rename this to that header. For the purposes of this demonstration, I really only needed to bring a reference to who I believe put that language into Matthew. I didn't really need to bring the headers over, but I like to replace the titles with the headers so that I can rearrange them by the order they belong in if I think the order has been changed. All right, so we're here at the end now, and you can see that this is actually a long section because this is the beginning of the Beatitudes, it's the Sermon on the Mount. There are some things within the Sermon on the Mount that I do feel came from that, from Paul. So the next thing that uh, I do when I'm dissecting these uh, these books to who I believe is the, the source. Now I'm under Matthew here, and I'm going to create three folders. Now if I wanted to create another folder parallel to Matthew, it's it's not all that obvious, but I can create a new folder under Matthew, and then I can move it outside of Matthew, and now it's parallel to Matthew. So I'm going to go back under Matthew and add one more folder, because we have three uh, sources. And while I don't show it here, you can drag one folder into another folder anytime you want. If you wanted to put Matthew lower in the hierarchy, you could simply drag it into that folder we just created at the same level. I am renaming these three folders, the first one, the last redactor, the next one, Paul, and the last one, Yeshua. We're going to go to the folder called Matthew and select each of the files that belongs to the last redactor and move them to the folder called the last redactor. The temptation of Christ actually belongs with the last redactor. I'm going to do the same thing with the one file that we have of Yeshua and all the files that we have that are associated with Paul. Now we're going to go into the folder called the last redactor and select all of the files. Then we're going to go to Organize and Merge. This will take all of those files and put them into a single text file. Next we're going to do the same thing with Paul. And what we've done is we've taken all of the things that we have attributed to that last redactor and put them in one text file. All of the things that we attributed to Paul into another text file and the things that belong to Yeshua are in our Yeshua file. Well, that concludes this video on how I use manuscript for getting to what appears to me the real Yeshua versus the Jesus that is created by Paul and the last redactors. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.